So hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be checking out probably the most useful piece of gear that I own. It is the Yamaha THR10C. Uh, it's just a little practice amplifier really. Uh, I thought I'd do a video because, mainly because I filmed a couple of videos using this. It sounded really good I thought and uh, I got a few questions about what settings I was kind of using and stuff like that. So yeah, this is the the C version of the uh, THR range. Uh, I think it stands for combo. Uh, so it's kind of got models of loads of different classic combos. There's also the standard cream version and also a metal version that's just got high gain amps in it. Uh, I chose this one just because I, I like the sound of the models in it. Uh, speaking about the models, we have uh, They've got five different models in here. One is a deluxe, so it's kind of like a Fender Blues Deluxe sort of thing, really clean, high headroom. That's kind of the setting I use most when I'm using pedals with this. There's a Class A model, which is basically your Vox AC30. A US Blues, which is more uh, tweedy, a bit more, uh, a bit more gain in that than the uh, Fender Deluxe. Uh, then there's the Brit Blues, which is Blues Marshall Blues Breaker sort of thing, and then uh, the last one, which is Mini, which is a uh, kind of boutique, more gain. I think it's actually based on a Dr. Z amplifier. Uh, so the controls we have are gain, hold on, gain, master, bass, middle, treble, effects. So you have chorus, flanger, phaser, and tremolo, delay and reverb, tape echo echo and reverb, spring reverb and a hall reverb and then you have your output levels for your guitar and USB or aux. You also have input for guitar, your headphones so you can run it in your ears and then an aux cable so you can play along with your tunes. There's also a pretty good tuner, a tap tempo for the delays I believe and five storable presets. Uh, I don't know what else, else to say. It's a 10 watts stereo, so stereo, so one side is 5 watts and the other side is 5 watts. The EQ works differently for each model, so they've kind of tried to reenact uh, the different, like how the EQ would work on each of these amplifiers. Uh, oh, actually, there's also, you can also use this as a bass amplifier, an acoustic amplifier, and there's also a flat uh, model which basically just uses this as like a user interface. Speaking of that, on the back there is a USB so you can plug it straight into the computer and record. That's how I'll be recording this demo and how I recorded the last couple of demos. There is a power input, 15 volts, center positive and you can also run this on a lot of batteries. I don't know how many batteries you can run it on. Yeah, if you see that there's like a gazillion batteries you can run this on. So yeah, uh, like I said, this is probably the most useful piece of gear that I have. Um, I use it when I'm not at home or when I don't have the victory. Uh, and it sounds great. You know, it's not, it goes pretty loud, though you're not going to want to re probably rehearse with it with a f loud drummer. It's mainly for practicing in in your bedroom, hotel room, tour bus, anything. Recording quick demos, you've got somewhere an idea. It's really good for that. So yeah, I think we will jump straight into it. I'm Jackson, this is Dips Rich Demos. I hope you enjoy the video. Cheers. So hello and welcome back to the Yamaha THR10C demo video thing. Uh, I thought the fastest way to go through this amp was to go through my presets um, and maybe mess around with the effects and other things like that. So the first preset I have, as you can see, all you do is to recall the presets is press these buttons and you can see this number changes. So preset one is my is the deluxe, it's the first model so it's kind of like a Fender Blues Deluxe sort of thing and it sounds like this. I have it set up really clean with no reverb, no effects or anything because this is the one that I use when I've 
plug my pedal board in front of the amp. It kind of gets me probably the closest thing to the how I have the uh, victory. Also, if you dig in a bit, there's a bit of bite as well. So uh, let's add a little bit of spring reverb. So the effects in the delay and reverb, uh, one you have one knob for the effects and one knob for the delay and reverb. And each kind of so you kind of have on the delay and reverb you have tape echo, echo and reverb, spring and hall, and each one of those have kind of have like a quarter turn of the knob. So for example, the spring has from here on the knob to about here. So let's put it halfway, see how that sounds. A really nice spring reverb, I think. Uh, let's add a little bit of tremolo. Again, it's the same story. The tremolo has kind of from here to here. So uh, let's add a, just a little bit of that. Kind of a really nice warm reverb, I think. Um, just for fun, let's see how much gain this model has. It's not a lot, but let's just try it out. <laughs> Moving on, preset two, I have set up as the, just the next model in the line, it's the Class A model, so it's AC30. As you can hear, I have this set up with a little bit of reverb too. Uh, I wouldn't say it sounds exactly like a AC30, uh, it doesn't sound like my old AC30 anyway, but it still sounds good and at the end of the day, it's only based on an AC30. It might even be based on a Morgan sort of AC30 thing, but anyway. I'll just add a bit of chorus in that. So yeah, AC30, let's turn the chorus off again and see how much gain this has got as well. I know that's what people like. So that sounds pretty mega to me. I think if you had a, maybe a treble booster or a, a overdrive pedal in front of that, you get some pretty authentic queen tones in your bedroom. So moving on, preset three, I have set up as you know just the next model. It's the US Blues. It's a kind of tweedy, Fender tweed sort of thing. <laughs> Again, I got this set up pretty dry. Let's add a bit of hall to that. Just for a bit of fun, let's whack a bit of phaser on there. And then let's turn the gain and master all the way up. Let's change the hall to a bit of tape echo. 
I actually think that the tape echo in this is really nice. Cool, uh, let's move on. Preset 4 is uh, just the, it's the Brit Blues, so kind of blues breaker. I've got this set up with a bit of tape echo as well. I think this is just playing up rock and roll, ACDC sort of thing. Sorry if I just butchered that, but anyway, yep, I really like this preset actually. I think if I was just going straight into the Yamaha, I think this is the preset that I'd jump to. Let's see if that's all the gain in there. Yeah, that's pretty much all the gain. Um, last but not least, preset 5, you can already hear it's a bit gainier. Um, yeah, this is the kind of model off the I think it's like only like 18 watts or something, uh, Dr. Z, so it's pretty high gain. Yeah, so you kind of get in a bit of Van Halen here, so let's add a bit of echo and reverb, and maybe a bit of flange. <laughs> So yeah, this amp is a lot of fun, really useful, um, oh by the way these are just kind of the output levels for uh, the guitar and then the USB if you're playing back through here. Yeah I think, oh the tuner, it's just you hold down this button and then you get a simple tuner, oh the guitar's turned down, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah you, you get this kind of nice red glow when you turn it on. It's just a really fun piece of kit and really, really useful. I use it every day. So thanks for checking out the video. Uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.